little Truma trouble this morning. Air message. And this is the air message we're getting, E212H. We had a little trouble with the Truma, Luke, even with his fur coat. It was a little cold last night. Let me explain the problem, how I solved it, and where in the hell are we? Look at this. Gorgeous. Thanks for tuning in today, really appreciate that. My name is Scott, I am your host. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large. Today's a perfect example of that. We are living large. We are in Twin Falls, Idaho, on the Idaho-Utah border. This is Shoshone Falls here in the Snake River uh, Canyon Valley. Uh, but today I want to share a little situation we had last night. We being, me and Luke, let me get Luke. Come here, Luke. Luke! It's uh, Van Life Luke. He's like, what the hell, I was doing fine. Van Life Luke, say hello to the channel. Woo! Van Life Luke. <laughs> Van Life Luke, okay. Um, so here's the deal. So last night, uh, it got to 40 uh, degrees in uh, Twin Falls, Idaho. Pretty, pretty chilly, right? And um, I set the, the Truma, my uh, Winnebago Travados, equipped with a Truma Combi, which is a furnace and hot water powered by uh, either propane or electric or both. I set the temperature for a you know comfortable 70, uh, went to bed, and about 2.30 in the morning, I woke up and it was really cold inside Lily. That'd be my Winnebago Travado. Uh, I was 63 degrees inside. Um, so I'm like, what the hell happened? Because I set the thermostat, user error. I did not turn the propane on on the switch right here. And what that caused the Truma to do is to fault out. Um, it tried to create a spark. Uh, there was no propane. Well, it did, I'm sure, create a spark. There was no propane. So it effectively went into an error mode and didn't work because there was no propane, which makes total sense. Got that. So I woke up. Looks like, what's going on? Um, I turned the propane switch on. I did test the propane was working by actually running the propane stove for a few minutes just to verify that it was working. Fussed with the controls a little bit and what I didn't expect was what I got which was this really kind of weird air message. You scroll to the desired um, function. That's the that's the mix. So actually, we're on electricity right now, hence these uh, thunderbolts. I'm scrolling to the uh, air message, and this is the air message we're getting, E212H. So now that I'm awake, I pull up the manuals, and I'm reading through them, and I can't figure out what the problem is. So uh, it being now almost three o'clock in the morning, thankfully I have a, a Volta system, uh, which means I have a Pier 3 lithium energy pack and I just switched the furnace mode from gas, which is propane, to electric. One and two elements firing and got it going, make sure it was going good. Uh, 70 uh, degrees is where I set it. Uh, the state of charge gauge at that point was about 70% um, because I had been using it, oops, here comes Luke, because I had been using it um, and the inverter all day and did, did not do much driving yesterday. What I did is, again, just turn the uh, inverter on uh, to fire up the uh, Pier 3 system, turned on the electric, again, one and two uh, um, elements there and made sure it was humming and it was and went to bed. Um, with 70% state of charge, that meant I probably had um, at least three, four, certainly, well, probably four or five hours before the battery would have been depleted. Uh, what I've learned um, through van life here is that the electrical consumption for heat is really extreme. I'd say even more so than air conditioning. Um, not as nearly as efficient as propane. So got up um, about uh, six o'clock this morning. And uh, so from three-ish until well, it was probably 6.30, um, the, the state of charge had gone down to 20%. So it went from 70 to 20% in about three hours. Now the rig was pretty cold. It was 63 degrees, so I had to heat all of that up to 70. And meanwhile, the temperature is actually still going down outside. So 
it was a, uh, I think it just ran on full power for four hours, basically. And, um, but what I couldn't figure out when I got up this morning is why the error message didn't cancel out. So when I look in the manual, um, it doesn't actually have that error code. So I'm gonna call Truma. To find out what the error code meant and how to eliminate it. Now, I called pretty, pretty first thing uh, Eastern time and um, while well, I was expecting a call back somewhat soon, they called me back at about uh, two o'clock this afternoon. Well, I'm impatient, I guess, so I'm, I started fussing trying to fix the error code. Well, I just couldn't clear this error code. So what I found is when there is some you know, weirdness in a system in the rig, my plan is to turn off the lithium system um, by pressing the big green button. And essentially what that does is it just, everything electrical just shuts down, obviously. Let it kind of rest for about 20 seconds, turn the big green button back on, and the system came to life as it always does within a few seconds. Uh, the microwave beeps, the ceiling fan pops real quick, um, and the Truma air code was then canceled So out. Todd uh, from Truma Customer Service did call me back, like I say, around two o'clock this afternoon, while the error code was cleared and the, I checked it, it's running on, it runs on propane just fine now. Um, I was still just very curious on what was the error message about and why it didn't clear. So here's a tip. Um, the error message was, as he stated, that the furnace tried to create a spark. There was no propane, so it went into a, an error mode. To clear an error mode on the Truma, what Todd taught me from Truma today, which is awesome. So when you get an error mode, I'll put the picture up here so you can see it. And it's kind so of as you know on your Truma system, there's a, an external wheel here. You can see that? So that turns like that, and that brings you to the various setting points. And then there's a button in the middle that is like an enter button. So what Todd told me to do to clear an error message, if it's not self-clearing from a reset, which he said would normally happen, um, is that you would dial to the error mode, which always ends up right here next to the little timer clocky thing. Um, so you would dial to that, and then you push the center button twice. One, two, and that will clear that error message, and the triangle being the error message, of course. The net effect of all this is that, um, number one, turn your propane on if you're gonna use propane with your Truma furnace. Not a newbie, but just something that gets missed. I think what I'm gonna do is actually paint the bottom of the switch so when it's on, I can see it in color. Um, number two, I've learned not to panic when I get an error code or something doesn't quite go right. It's just usually something simple. Um, number three, um, thanks to Todd at Truma, if you have a warning label or a warning error code that is not clearing out after a period of uh, recycling, I'll call it, uh, the system by itself, um, you dial to the triangle, and then you push the center button twice, one, two, and that would, should clear the error message. And when all else fails, just like when your computer freezes, isn't responding correctly, your iPhone isn't being a good boy or girl, iPhone, whichever model you have, what do you do? You reset it, you turn it off, turn it back on, the entire system resets, do it all the time with our electronic devices, you know, not why not with your Winnebago? So when all else fails, just turn, if you have a Pure 3 lithium system, hit the big green button, turn it off, turn it back on, hit the button again, turn it back on, and then let everything come back to life. So that was today's lesson. Um, thankfully, um, had a happy ending, which who doesn't like happy endings? Until we see you again, I wish you to journey on. Hope you got something out of that video today. A little bit of a how-to tip. That's how we roll here at Go Small, Live Large, a channel dedicated to my living and working full-time from my 2019 Winnebago Travado. It's a 21-foot camper van. Um, I am equipped with the Volta Pure 3 Lithium System. I have a 47-volt battery in that bad boy. Bad girl, her name's Lily. And um, the channel's all about the learnings I get from the road, sharing that with you and then together we can learn about the places I visit, the people I meet, what it takes to do van life 
full-time, and by the way, I have a full-time corporate job um, living on the road. Been full-time since February 2019. I was part-time five months prior to that. Owned this rig coming up on almost a year now, which is hard to believe. Almost 30,000 miles, currently in southern Idaho. Headed to Phoenix the next couple of days. Um, if you got something out of this, any of those topics of, are of interest to you, would be a great pleasure for you to join the journey. Please like, that's giving it a thumb up. That helps others find the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We just crossed 3,000, 3,000 viewers, which is awesome. Enjoy the scenery.